Hey team, Mark Zies here, Bible Land Explorer. I trust all is well with you in the place where you are. The place where we are is in the Nile River on a small boat chugging through a labyrinth of islands made out of Aswan granite and covered with reeds and sand. It's a messy place. It's an interesting place. It's a place where one could actually get lost as the Nile River charges through this uh, constricted area. Recall that this is the area of frontier between Nubia to the south and Old Egypt to the north, and therefore an area that had to be protected and easily protected given the uh, constriction of the river. For this reason, there are many temples here and forts which date to several moments in time. I want to think about just one moment, though, and one place. The moment is at the end of the Old Testament period, and the place is an island called Elephantini, or Elephant Island. We know what happened at the end of the Old Testament period. Jerusalem was destroyed, the Jews there were exiled. Some fled. You can read in Jeremiah how many people fled down here to Egypt. And the island that uh, catches our attention here is an island that has a cool name. It's called Elephant Island or Elephantini Island, either because the rocks are shaped like elephants or because an aerial view as you look down on it gives us the shape of an elephant tusk. Now, whatever the case, Elephant Island shows evidence of occupation in the Persian period. And what's more, they actually found documents there written in Aramaic. Aramaic letters that describe a community of Jewish mercenaries who were posted here uh, defending the border. Now that's fascinating. What's even more fascinating is that um, these folks who lived on this island apparently built for themselves a, a, a duplicate temple of the temple in Jerusalem. They even had their own high priest and their own priestly system, sort of a, an exiled government operating down here along the banks of the Nile. Wild, huh? Uh, how about this for even crazier speculation? Could it be that those who fled down here brought with them not just the memory of the temple itself, but maybe some of the things from inside the temple? Ooh, this is Raiders of the Lost Ark material. You know, there's the claim, the claim is made that the Ark of the Covenant is today in Ethiopia. Is it possible that that Ark would have passed this way? If it's in Ethiopia, it did. And maybe it even stopped at Elephantini Island for a period of time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fun stuff to think about. Well, anyway, uh, here we are. What's, what's, what's real are the stones around us, the granites, the reeds, and uh, the cataract, the first cataract of the Nile.